to them now.
denied their rights under the Geneva Convention. They are being denied the most basic human essentials and we march for them because it is the right thing to do. Like coming out today was the right thing to do. So I ask please, just come and be a steward. Just come and support, please, Liverpool Friends of Palestine Sunday March. And I'd like to just pass it to him, please. Jeremy, can you step forward, please? One sec. One sec. Please take a good look at this man. Take a good look at this man. I promise he's been doing so much, so much activism over the last few years. He gets, he gets very little help. He has volunteers. He needs more help. He needs help from you. We need to be so thankful for this man, you know, honestly. He does so much. Jerry, I'd like to say thank you for all you do. He's a wonderful ambassador for our city. So I want to ask, please, after you get yourself home safely tonight, please. Come and see Jeremy on Sunday, please. I just want to pass to him. That's an invitation to the Catholic Cathedral Piazza at 2 o'clock, or even better, slightly before 2 o'clock on Sunday. And we'll see how far we get in support of the Palestinians. One added attraction. Let's hear it for the guy with the drum who's been playing for the last hour. where he gets his practices on the Palestine demonstration every Sunday for about an hour. Bang, 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 and you can hardly hear yourself think, and it's absolutely brilliant. Thanks again for doing that. And thanks to everybody who has defied the command to keep yourself plain clothes and brought a few Palestine flags out tonight. Because there is a res the Palestinians are the largest refugee population in the world, situated in Jordan, in Syria, in Lebanon, in Egypt, and all over the world. 
They know what being a refugee is about. They know about being refugees in their own country. And that's why it's very important because we've turned out tonight for a refugee agency which is behind us here. A very, very important place, Asylum Link, does vital work in the community and I know a number of people here spend their time volunteering a day or so a week. You have to support places like this and it's very good that people have done so tonight. Just bear in mind that this place continues to work week in, week out for people who, whose English is poor, whose knowledge of the situation is poor, whose talent is great and whose sense of community is great. So please support them in future. But in the meantime, free, free Palestine! Free, free Palestine! Free, free Palestine! Thank you very much. Alhamdulillah, alhamdulillah. It must, it must have been your common words, Imam. It must have been your common words. One last thing I want to say is apart from being the leader or one of the leaders of Liverpool Friends of Palestine, Jeremy works here. He volunteers here one day a week. He does so much, you know, and he knows exactly the services that this provides to the most vulnerable people. Thank you again. We've got one more thing to do. Let's get ourselves home safely. Yeah. There are some men. We have many here who are not going to want to leave until you are all home safe. So we ask, we came together. I ask that we leave together, please, as a group, united as we've stood today. Let's get each other home safe. And let your mum and dad just say, let's get home before dark. Because there's no reason to be out after dark, is there? Nothing good happens after dark. And I'm out of Thank you, Liverpool! I've got 40 grants from Brighton and Walthamstow and the crowds are bigger than ours. Yeah. Absolutely brilliant. The same story throughout the country. The racists are overcome and we hope forever. Yes. I'll be very brief. I have never been so proud of this city as tonight. We have the power to stop the far right in their tracks. Look at us tonight, united, communities together, trade unions together, faith groups together, every sexuality, every gender, every colour in this city. We are the world in one city. We can break the fascists. And you know what? You know what? We can beat them because we are the great, great majority. Even last week, we didn't have a great time in Liverpool last week, but actually around the country, the great majority of the mobilisations, we outnumbered them. We outnumbered them, and we'll do it again and again and again. We are the majority. The great majority of those people who came into Liverpool were not from Liverpool, they were from outside the area. Look at the list of arrests from different parts of the country. They did not represent this city. We represent this city. But you know what? We've got a bit further to go. This will peter out, but maybe not just yet. This weekend they are talking about their antics again. They are talking about turning out in Liverpool again on Saturday and in other parts of the country. We'll have to have a presence. We'll have to have a counter-protest. We'll have to outnumber them in our thousands and tens of thousands. So... We are having an organising meeting tomorrow evening online. The details are on the chat groups. Come to that if you can. Ian Byrne will be speaking at that. It needs to be big. We'll make a decision there about whether to take the space at the pier head to stop them taking that space. We are the majority. We can win. Peace, everybody. We have an open mic event tomorrow. Very quickly, please. Yeah, so um, I ate a sour billy. Um, I'm just here to say quickly that I've organ I'm organising a 
open table discussion at Chip and Mitre at the back of the pub just to say how we can mobilise against the far right and the fascists as a community. Seven o'clock tomorrow, please be there if you can. We need all good leftists on board. Thank you. A lot of applause. And that's for you, for everybody who come out today. Can we have one report for our community? And the one thing they didn't want us to do, we're all going to get home safely. Can we do that? Yeah. So let's do it on a high. We're going to now start dispersing if we can, please. And at our, at our peaceful march, we disperse ourselves in a peaceful manner. We show them how it's done. Please stay as groups. Look after yourself till you get home. Stay safe. Yeah, stay vigilant. And thank you for being you. Thank you. Please make your way towards Lodge Lane while we still got light. We'd like to take advantage of the daylight, please, and be gone before it gets dark. Stop 
people. We won't be silent. Stop the fascists now, 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 now. No justice, no peace. Yeah, fast. Wait, what happened? The Australians, these men of the awesome future, they hold up the dark, and there's not going to be big numbers. They said eight o'clock, they didn't turn up. We now need to go. We give them hours. Yeah, we're not at their whim. Please get yourself home safely. The other side don't want you home safely. Let's take that from them. Let's get ourselves home safely. Let's not give them what they want. Let's quit while we're here, please. There are many, many more of us than them. There are many, many more of us than them. There are many, many more. There are many, many more. Many, many more. Oh, fuck the lights, lady, please. Where are we starting? Sending small groups into ourselves. See you later.